Hey you guys, it's Violet. Happy Valentine's Day. As a Valentine's Day gift to you, I want to share with you this tutorial on how to get my Galliano Cherub inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoy. Mwah. Let's get right into it. I am going to block my brows the way I always do, using my handy dandy Elmer's. So I like to go against the grain, like so. Really slop it on there. And then I brush it out using this gorgeous eyebrow brush that I stole from Valentina on tour. Dating is weird when you're a drag queen, mostly because of Fragile masculinity. Shout out to all my bros watching this. This is for you. All right, next I'm gonna go with my Smashbox Redness Reduce Primer. Reduce Redness Primer. We are just gonna get it all over me. I am going to color correct my, my mustache area, which I don't normally do, but I've been shooting a lot lately and it feels like some of my Mustache is coming through. And we're back. Everything is dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start covering my eyebrows with foundation. I like to use Dermacolor. It's decent for your skin as far as stage makeup goes, but it's full coverage. It covers everything. And it's nice and creamy and blendable and just gorgeous. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend, press that foundation into my skin. So for the eyes, I've got a bunch of amazing colors and I'm really excited to play with them. Well, I look a little crazy right now. I look a little crazy right now. It looks like I was actually making out with Cupid instead of uh, doing a Cupid inspired look. But trust me, the beard cover is super essential. We don't want a mustache showing through. This is like a very angelic, innocent look, so. This is essential. I will be covering it eventually, so just bear with me here. I don't usually play with these colors, so I'm super excited. We've got a bunch of Stila, some Pat McGrath, a bunch of Anastasia, um, lots of shimmers, lots of golds, so let's get right into it. My favorite thing is these Stila liquid eyeshadows, so I think I'm gonna start there and see how we go. And the cool thing about a look like this, kind of going off of like a Pat Galliano Dior moment, is that it doesn't have to be super, super clean. It can be a little bit messy. So then I'm gonna go on top of that and I'm gonna use the color Electric from the Subculture palette from Anastasia. It's got like a nice green, sort of shimmery tone to it. Super pretty. Gold, greens, and peaches, and shimmers. So I'm going to now take another one of these liquid eyeshadows in Gypsy, and I'm going to kind of angle it down and have a lot of it focused towards my nose. I think that kind of creates that 30s sort of silver screen starlet look kind of sad girl moment we that I want to achieve. We'll see, see how it goes. Now I'm gonna go in with, I don't know what this is, but it's a Pat McGrath palette, and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's like a really gorgeous blue purple and kind of darken up some of the, uh, I guess it's, we're calling it the crease I just made. So I've done my brows and they're super kind of a caricature 
It's a character brow for sure, which is what we wanted. I'm highlighting now with Krylon TB White, just right under my brow. I'm kind of doing a lot of white because we want it to be super um, kind of character and whimsical and fantasy. I don't think I've ever had a real Valentine. I think I had one, my very first boyfriend, and he fucking sucked. He didn't do anything, and he was a boyfriend and a shitty Valentine. And yeah, I'm kind of sad. I've never had a real Valentine. If you don't want to date this, then I, there's something wrong with you, okay, sweetie? This is perfection. I don't know why nobody would want to date. Like, girl, bye. Now I'm just going over my brow and my brow highlight with some uh, translucent powder. And uh, I'm kind of picking up the shadow I put down, but you know what, that's drag, that's part of it. Just popping some super white powder under my brow to make it pop even more. It's nice to do a fantasy look because you get to kind of play more. And you don't get to, you don't have to be so like real about it. I'm going in with the color Rowdy from the Anastasia palette subculture. That's the vibe. That's, that's the Valentine's Day vibe. It's sad, sad Cupid. My ideal date, I think, for Valentine's Day I think I'm just really bougie. I want like a really nice dinner. I want like, they have to have free bread and like champagne, jewelry. I gotta get jewelry. Jewelry is like crucial to a good Valentine's Day date. I feel like jewelry is just, I know that's so cliche, but a good piece of jewelry you'll have forever. And that's like, I think that really shows like, I want you to think of me forever. It's like, here's this piece of valuable jewelry. When you look at it, you're gonna think of me. To me, that's like really romantic and you get jewelry. And when you break up, you still have the jewelry. I think I'm pretty happy with this shape of the eye. It gives that sort of like droopy, sad, sort of 40s, 30s starlet eye that I'm kind of going for. It's pretty. It's pretty and I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna pop some stones in there later, but for now, I think I will just keep on trucking right along. So I think I want to use this old as Pat McGrath gold. It's super, super pigmented, and I've got some gold liner that I'm putting on my kind of waterline right now. And uh, I'm gonna put this on top. Now I'm moving on to the under eye, and I'm kind of making it up as I go. I'm using Rowdy again from Anastasia's Subculture Palette underneath my eye. I'm just kind of smudging and smoking it out. Okay, so I think I'm at a weird place with my eye makeup. I've added some crystals, I've done some under eye. I think it's time to move on to foundation and then come back to the eyes again once I have a better idea of what the hell I'm doing. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start with foundation and just shellac my whole face with this lovely Dermacolor foundation. Okay, and then what I want to do with the foundation is I'm gonna put a little bit of this Liquid Glow by Anastasia face highlighter. So I want my face to be really glowing and dewy. I kinda wanna look like a porcelain doll, so Never done this before, so let's see how it looks mixed in. Oh my god. How gorgeous is that? It makes a huge difference. Big difference. I 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some highlights. And I like to use good old fashioned TV white by Krylon. Wanna make sure my nose looks nice and pinched. And I'm kind of applying it liberally because again, we wanna look a bit porcelain. Now we're gonna do some contour. And I use Anastasia Mink Foundation to contour, so we're gonna go right in with that and contour. Mmm, lovely, look at that. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. So I like to use the foundation stick, the Anastasia one that I use for all my contour, and just kind of draw these lines and really try to align it with just a little bit off from the natural shadows to make it look really pinched, really pointed. I want it to look like you just facetuned me, just pinched it right there. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this little mini beauty blender, it's so cute. I'm gonna go in with some highlight on my nose next, using this really, really old sugar pill brush. So you've got that lovely exclamation point nose, nice and pointed. And now I'm going to blend it just a bit and powder everything so it sets. Now I'm gonna go in with some pink. I like some nice hot pink. I'm gonna take this color in the Pat McGrath palette and I'm gonna put it on my lower eye. The costume I'm wearing has a lot of blues, pinks, and golds, and I wanna really complement the costume with my makeup. So I wanna incorporate a bit more pink. I've got a lot of gold going on. Um, and then the hair I'm wearing is like an auburn, so that's why the eyebrow is this color. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of highlighters. I want it to be super, super highlighted. Um, I think I might even go in and add some more of this Liquid Glow by Anastasia back in. Another nice fluorescent orange. Some nice fluorescent orange blush. I love it, it looks like I'm sunburnt. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna get me a Valentine. Should I be crazy and put some eyeshadow on my cheek? Ah! I am wild. Oh my god. Now that is art. If you guys could comment down below on a scale of one to 10, would you take me on a hot Valentine's Day date? One being absolutely not, and 10 being absolutely. Next, I'm going to start to do my lips. I am gonna go in now with Stila Liquid Lipstick in shade Fiery. Nice and fiery Valentine's Day. So they're gonna be really daring and put on bottom lashes. Okay, I'm gonna put a beauty mark on, my signature Monroe beauty mark. Beautiful. I'm gonna put a little pink lip gloss, Anastasia. It's got some gold flecks in it, it's really pretty. All right, that is it, you guys. I'm gonna put on some mascara and a wig, and I'll see you on the other side.
And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope you're gonna be subscribing because there's gonna be lots more makeup, lots more beauty, lots more glam, and lots more fashion headed your way soon. So stay tuned. Mwah.